This is your last chance. Throw down your weapons, and we can handle this another way. What are listening to intel? I lived my entire life waiting for this moment. I trained, I lied, I killed. Just to get you. I took life from my own brothers and sisters right here on this continent. And all this death. Just so I can kill you. Let the challenge begin. Listen, man, it doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they do, bro. They can't stop you. They cannot stop you, bro, when you are on semen retention. I want you guys to understand something, bro. When I tell you, bro, that you have this willpower like no other, bro, okay? You've learned, you've learned, bro. You've gone through tests that most people, bro, have never even imagined, okay? Most people run when times get hard. Most people quit, bro, okay? Most people don't have no character, bro. Most people don't have no self-confidence, bro, okay? I'm telling you, they don't. They hide behind all sorts of different things, okay? Money, friends. This is what people do, okay? Because they don't want to put in the hard work, bro, to really be out here to earn your crown. You see, most of us think that our life out here, okay, is really, really hard, but we don't see it for what it is. But I'm here to tell you, being in the same shoes as you, exactly what this is turning out to be. You see, this is called the greater test of life. You could have chosen to be whatever it is that you wanted to be before you came into this game, okay? You got to choose your circumstance. You got to choose who you look like because you knew that you were not going to remember what was going on down in here. Now, I ask you to think, what is it that you would do? What is it would, that you would choose? Would you choose to be someone rich? All right, that's got tons of probably ego problems, right? Can never admit that they're wrong because money empowers them, right? Money is their God, right? Or you could be one of these really, really poor people who are just humble and happy to be alive and happy to go through the struggle and gain different knowledges and aspects on the way. You had a choice to choose regardless if you can remember or not, because you are in one of those positions that I've just told you, okay? 
And with that being in mind, how is it are you going to go about your journey? Okay. How is it that you're going to go about it? You're going to go about it, bro. All right. The right way by never quitting, by never giving up. This is where you earn those stripes, bro. They can't stop you. You've been through something that other people have never, ever dreamed of going through. You have risen from the dirt, bro. Ascended the chakras, bro. Ascended Jacob's ladder, bro. And now you're in the crown chakra, bro. You're out here, bro, doing things that are enlightening people. You changing the tide, bro. And you did all of this from the ground up. And now that I look at the game and I look at how things are going, and I realize, bro, that I appreciate the position that I'm in. You see, I would be able to learn this journey probably a heck of a lot easier in a lower, more humbler position, okay? And actually earning what we call our stripes down here, learning how to deal with people, learning how to deal with karma, learning how to just grow as a person by going and experiment, experiencing all these different things of life. Life is an experience. And if you came down here and you kept yourself from the experience, well, then you've probably just lost out on the experience of life. Okay. This is why I ask you guys, what position is it that you would like to be in? And as you guys can see that all of us are in this position, the same as me, majority of the people. So you understand, bro, you understand, bro, now how to go about this journey. You know where to walk. You know how to talk. You know how to move. And from this point out, bro, you will never lose doesn't matter what they do. You're going to have people come out the woodworks trying to hate on you. Okay. They're going to be trying to take you down. They're going to be trying to make you frown. They're going to be trying to take your crown. This is what they're going to be trying to do, bro. Okay. But you got this one thing that see that they don't got. You got an experience that they don't got. See, this is how we gain those stripes. This is how we get better. This is how we get to the point in our lives, bro, where we now are mastering whatever it is that we have our thoughts on. And this is how we're going to do it by going on this walk, by learning the struggles, bro, of life, understanding this is a beautiful thing. And if you would just get your mind right, you would be able to understand, man, that it's not so bad. You see that you've let them get you out of a high vibrational frequency. When you're in a low vibrational frequency, it's easy, bro, to have a bad day. <laughs> I had a, a, a customer come in today, bro. I'm not even kidding. I'm going to tell you guys a, a real deal story. Okay. So I'm sitting at work today. All right. This dude walks in, man. And the minute he walks in, he's just like smiling, bro. Okay. From like ear to ear, bro, just smiling. And you want to know some funny stuff? I'm going to keep it real. I, ha I have no reason to cap. You want to know some funny stuff? It's like we locked eyes as soon as he walked in. He just kept smiling. It's like I'm not used to seeing someone walk in smiling and high vibrational like that. And it kind of like I just kind of like looked at him in awe. <laughs> I was like this. Too. And then I was like, OK, well, we checked him in. Right. So then I go over back to my station. And what do you know? He's next in line. So then I end up getting in. Right. So he comes down, he sits in my chair. Now, here's the thing, bro. The media energy of this man is he was just eye contact the whole time, listening exactly what you're saying. I could look into his eyes. I could tell he was a good person just right off the bat. Like I already had knew. And then he got to talking about raising your frequency, bro. OK, he got to talking about him going over across the uh, the country, bro, in a different country, bro, and meeting real life shamans. And he was in, in, in like one on ones with shamans, bro, where he was meditating and praying and all of these different things, bro, talking about raising his vibrations, bro. Okay. 
this dude came back, man, and he is just a totally different person. He says he's he says his family, bro. Okay, don't even recognize him 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 no more. What does that sound like? That sounds like us. That sounds like us chosen ones. Those you know the people that I'd be coming up here talking about every single day. That sounds like us. <laughs> There's other people that experience in the same things as we are, okay? And if we were to sit back and stereotype people, we would miss our brothers left and right. When I tell you that we are many, bro, and it isn't just a particular looking group of people, okay? There are tons of chosen ones, bro. The simple fact of the matter is when you are in control of your chakras, your chakras are imbalanced, okay? Rather, I don't... It doesn't matter how you got there, whether you got there through semen retention, whether you got there through um, um, meditation, okay? H however you got there, okay? The simple fact of the matter is when someone is there, when someone there is able to control the outcome, okay, of their actions to others, that's a big deal. That shows you someone who's done a lot of shadow work. That shows you someone, bro, who is very, very trustable in their character. Okay. And when you see these people as a retainer with the eyes that I have, okay. And then you connect with energy, you start to see, bro, that there is people out there in different walks of life who are going through the same things as you. And this is why I want you guys to understand these are all important experiences. Okay. But again, you have to live in the moment, bro. Okay. You got to be present, bro. You got to be able to drop off all the negative things that you have in your life. Like my man said that I will never forget is he left. Okay. I told him to have a great day. And you know what he said? He says, I always do. It's a choice. Do you see the type of game? Do you see the type of knowledge, bro, that people, okay, of different walks, bro, who are just like me and you, bro, that are out here expressing themselves in this game of life, man. And you attract these people, okay? I attracted these people, bro, okay? they It could have been random, any other person. I would have never met this person, okay? But you don't see how the universe works. Right when you think you're on this journey on your own, you're, you're out here on this walk on your own, bro, what you end up seeing is you end up getting uh, a testament from the universe. <laughs> you end up getting what it is that you've been thinking about. Don't you see how quickly we can manifest, bro? by just our thoughts. It's crazy. This is why it's so important, man. All right. To stay positive, to raise your vibrations, bro. Okay. To increase your frequency, bro. So you can be able to use your magnetism, bro, to bring the thing that is that you really want in your life. And for me, that's peace. That's meeting people who are on the same walks as me. Okay. That's people who are, are trying to reach the same common goal as me, reaching others, uplifting others. It's funny how all of these things have just been happening to me over here in this last few months, bro. It's been crazy, bro. I've, I've gotten so many opportunities. I've met so many cool people, bro. Okay. I cannot make this up, man. Okay. I cannot make this up. And I have this thing about me, bro. Okay. I have this gift, bro, where I don't have a quitter. I don't have a quitter spirit, bro. Okay. I never give up, bro. And it doesn't matter what they do. And this is what I want you to understand. It doesn't matter what they do. They cannot stop you. You got to understand, bro, that you are now walking around master in this game. Okay. You are in control, bro. All right. You are controlling your own destiny. Most people are not. Okay. No disrespect to anybody out there. This video is not trying to be disrespectful. This video is trying to help you align what's your natural, you know, path in life, man. So you can get on this frequency. So you can experience bliss. So you can experience nirvana. So you can possibly experience ascension. Okay. Because if you're out here and you're any, in any other frequency, other than these ones that we're trying to talk about, bro. Okay. You're, you're not making it. Okay. You're not, you're not making it. You're, you're in a lower frequency of energy. You're doing things that are harming you instead of things that are good for you. Remember, this is what we're supposed to be doing. This is what we're supposed to be doing as souls. We're supposed to be helping other people, bro. Okay. 
get to the same level as us. Remember, we're all one. This is what we're down here for. What else are we down here for? The matrix has got you thinking that we're down here for other things like driving cars and going on trips and doing this and doing that. No, no, no. We're supposed to be down here learning and helping each other. Okay. Ascend and get out of here. Okay. Because like I said, once one's doing bad, we're all doing bad. All right. We want to get the harmony back in this world. Yeah. They put Kelly in business. You would have thought this iPhone was a flip phone where I've been moving this chick. Yeah. My brothers was taking and moving with G Lots. I told them stay to the business. And some of you might not see this as a big of a deal, but I'm here to tell you from a very high up position <laughs> where people would be seriously sitting at a round table talking about what's important. Okay. This would be one of the number one things on the table, bro. Okay. This is how you create a change. This is how you actually, bro, you know, really uplift and change the frequency of mankind. This is how you heal, bro. All right. And once everybody's out here on the same frequency, out here happy with their lives, prospering in their different, you know, gifts that they were given, this is when the world will come back and harm me. This is what we want. But instead, you guys are acting like you don't want this. This is what we want. So we can all have what we want. So we can all feel this bliss of peace in our lives. We don't, there's no word of stress. There's no such thing as work. There's no, all of these things came with us in the fall and us not understanding who we are. Okay. And everything that we continue to do continues to uplift the bad behavior. Hence watching the corn. Okay. Out here doing your one night stands. Okay. Out here sleeping around and dating. All right. Instead of using your energy. Okay for your higher purpose. And most of you don't even know what that is because you're too busy being a part of the world. Okay. You think it's important to chase money. You think it's important to dress inappropriately. You think it's important to, you know, get tons of validation from everyone. Okay. Listen, this is, this is us in our lower half. Okay. What we're trying to do is we're trying to ascend from that. We've done that for long enough, and we've seen what that's caused in our society. That's caused that very thing, the, the sexual exchange, to be monetized, which is absolutely ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. And I'm not even going to go dive in any, any deeper on how ludicrous that is. Since when in the hell would someone pay something that has no value for something that is sacred? That doesn't even make any sense. Okay. Again, if you're not on the frequency, you're not going to understand me, but I'm telling you what people at a higher table would be talking about. That makes no sense. You are worth way more than that. But yet this is what we've lowered ourselves to, to an exchange. And guess what? This has robbed us from our very vital energy. Okay. It's, it has changed our moods. Okay. It has changed the way that we handle relationships and people. Okay. It is fed nothing but that lower red sacral chakra, bro. And it's out of control. And most of you don't even know what that's like to ascend from that energy. You guys don't have no idea what you're missing over here on the other side of this veil. Okay. This is a life that everybody needs to lead, bro. Okay. This is a life, bro, that you, <laughs> once you go on it, man, You'll thank whoever is out there in those mighty stars for putting you on it. Okay. I don't care what situation you're in. I don't care what you got going on in your life. Okay. You need to start somewhere. And the biggest problem that we have today is the depletion of this energy. When this energy is so important, bro, it is the flux capacitor, bro. Okay. It is what makes sure that your temple is going to run the way it's supposed to run. And most of you are out here or running without your flux capacitor, bro. All right. You don't think that's an important part. All right. Most of you out here, bro, are doing things like this, man. And this is why you don't understand the significance of what it is that I'm saying. So it's a very important guys be out here, bro. Uplifting others, man. Okay. 
This is the, this is what we're supposed to be doing. This is what's going to keep giving you the motivation to keep going. That's going to be your payment. Believe me, it's a spiritual payment. It feels good when you see somebody else's life change. It feels good when you help somebody else. Okay. It does. You know, it does. Okay. You know, it does. So this is our job. And this is all I want you guys to think about. Okay. Just remember guys, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what anyone does, bro. It doesn't matter what anyone does. Guess what? They can never stop you, bro. And they will never stop you. Okay. They can't. You are in alignment. It is written. You have now put yourself in the book of life, bro. It is written. Your destiny is going to be fulfilled. But until then, bro, you're just sitting on the side, bro. You have not put yourself in the book of life. You have not chosen to take that position, okay? While all of us around us are around here are holding our seeds, graduating, bro, ascending, okay? You're going to miss that bus. And I'm telling you right now, man, there's one thing that you don't want to miss, bro. There's one thing that will hurt you in, in the long run, and you'll always be thinking about it, is if you miss graduation with your friends, okay? I'm telling you the truth. This is one of the things that's going to hurt you, bro, okay? It, I'm telling you, because how do I know? Because I it happened to me, and I'm telling you right now that you don't want to miss this, okay? You want to be amongst all of your peers, bro, who are choosing to elevate in a time when we all need each other. And you guys know we do. There's crazy S-H-I-T going on out here. Let's keep it a buck, okay? There's too much stuff going on. Any day could be our number. And at the t and right now, we all got our number pulled. You know, none of you are clean enough to walk before the most high. And this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to start this journey. We're trying to start this walk. We're trying to, we're trying to show our worth down here and that we are worthy of being these guys that walk amongst this land down here. And we're worthy to take care of it. And we're worthy to lead the animals. We're worthy, bro, to keep this world going on without pollution and without garbage and without pain. Okay. We're going to correct all that. But again, See, you got to go to the root cause of the problem. And this is the root cause of all these problems. So that's all I really wanted you guys to know. I just wanted to tell you that real quick. This is just a short video, guys. Okay. But I want you guys to understand, man, this is real out here. Okay. And I want you to understand it doesn't matter what they do. They will never be able to stop you. Once you've made the choice to go on this journey, once you've made the choice, bro, to own your position, bro, there is nothing that they can do. They can throw every single thing at you in the book. None of it will prosper, bro. None of it. Okay. Matter of fact, all it's going to do is make you stronger and stronger and stronger. I told you, I get stronger and stronger and stronger as people's negative energies come towards me. I suck it up. I kid you not. I'll use it for motivation real quick. It'll motivate me to go do something inspiring real quick. Okay. And this is the same thing that you need to be transmuting your energy with too. Okay. Put it to something positive, put it to something in your life. That's going to get something accomplished. Okay. Instead of take it out in negativity. Remember we're positive over here all day, bro. And this is how we're going to remain in that frequency of abundance and things are going to keep coming to us because we have a positive mindset and don't ever let someone take that away from you. So I appreciate you guys for being in here. Philly Cheese, what's happening with you, brother? Good to see you in here tonight, man. D official, what's happening with you, bro? He said, what up, Lion King? In the building, bro. I see you, man. Nick Nick says, the Christ consciousness talk here, fellas. Tap in. Yeah, Nick, you gave me a good idea. Hold on. I wanted to play this for you real quick. Psalm 82, verse 5. They go on in darkness knowing nothing. Did I not tell you that ye are God's? Yet you shall die like men and princes. G-O-D is not somebody's name, but somebody's nature. G-O-D, generator, operator, destroyer, is the codex inscriptus of these three letters. The brain is the generator of electricity and power. The soul is the operator of self that navigates, propels you through your life on this plane and the next. 
The destroyer factor is found in the sacral vertebrae, where the upcoming Kudalini, Sanskrit term for cosmic fire and the coils that hook you up, that allows you to obtain everlasting life. That's what you're trying to do, is acquire those three states of consciousness. You're trying to raise up something inside you that makes you tell you that ye are gods. Did y'all hear that, bro? No, man, I, I don't think you heard that, bro. I don't think you heard that, bro. Okay, I don't think y'all heard that. I'm going to play it one more time. Listen closely, fellas. Yet you shall die like men and princes. G-O-D is not somebody's name, but somebody's nature. G-O-D, generator, operator, destroyer, is the codex inscriptus of these three letters. The brain is the generator of electricity and power. The soul is the operator of self that navigates, propels you through your life on this plane and the next. The destroyer factor is found in the sacral vertebrae where the upcoming Kudalini, Sanskrit term for cosmic fire and the coils that hook you up that allows you to obtain everlasting life. That's what you're trying to <laughs> bro bro come on man bro he, it says it right there in the book bro it says that ye are gods and you hear the term everlasting life which was talking about us if we would have stayed pure in the garden before you know who if we would have stayed pure bro that's what we would be living but we fought we fell bro we fell the forbidden fruit was exposed we understood what we see now we understand the yoga pants now and now we've lost ourselves because what's once what made us pure what's what made us glow what's once what made us holy is now gone there's no innocence left it's the matrix they do it to all walks. No one makes it out of this mug pure. You know it. I know it. So during this time, it was ruled and dominated by male principles until this time, until this age, which is the age of Aquarius, which is why things are changing because the age of spiritual darkness is over. I am left handed. When I was in school in kindergarten, they used to tie my left hand behind my back and tell me that it was evil to write and use my left hand because using your left hand it sends an electrical signal of function and dominant thought range to the right side of your brain, which is the female side. And that's the creative, deep thought, psychic nature side. And they did not want people developing this side of nature anymore. That is why they force people to be right hand dominant, which force you to think as a right male structured brain, which is logic, logic and physical nature things. This is why money, finance, Political structure and religious structure has been dominant in the male structure way of thinking. So to be holy, to be whole brain thinking is to have 360 upright knowledge. This is where the halo comes. It is when the male and female hemisphere of the brain are together and you are thinking down the center, which is the light of the sun, which is Christ consciousness. This is where they get the halo from. <laughs> So the return of Christ is the return of the divine aspect, divine female aspect of thinking, the sulfuric energy returning into the planet. So when the return of the female divine thinking returns, it will open up both sides of your brain because it is being blocked right now. So when you return back into using both sides of your brain and thinking with thy single eye, which is the center of mind, which is balance. You will receive Christ consciousness, which will activate your etheric light body, which will cause you to be a Christ. And this is what Christ was trying to get you to see. The Messiah came to open up both sides of your brain because it had been shut off and to show you the things that could happen when you did it and to give you a Jesus mindset of upright thinking. Turn the other cheek. 
Do not let these arconic energies feed off of your energy and emotions. Rising above water to walk above your emotions in whatever situation so that you could have access to both sides of thinking. To want to strike back is a male dominated thought. To logically think and to think about nature and nurturing is not a physical violence. So to balance both natures inside of yourself brings about a miraculous state of Christ. I'm sorry, y'all. See, this is why I don't. I, I, I'm trying not to laugh. I'm trying to be serious, bro. But this is what I'm saying. No one does no research, bro. Okay, this ain't no bashing ceremony. But I'm just saying, no one does no research, bro. You have many other stuff out there that you guys need to research, bro. Okay, and that's all I'm gonna say on that. And if people aren't willing to challenge themselves, bro, then that shows you that maybe that person, bro, is not a person that you probably should be you know, being buddy, buddy with at this point, because they're just now learning about their spiritual journey. Remember, I told you it's a good thing to be in these different groups like that, because you are getting some kind of help to help you get to be better. But the only problem is at some point you need to let go of that person's hand and to go on the walk on your own. Okay. Cause baby, basically that was just like somebody there babysitting you. OK, and at one point you need to grow up and pull up your huggies, bro, and go on this journey and feed and teach yourself. So that's all I really wanted to tell you guys, man. I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend, man. I appreciate you guys for being in here, man. I love you guys. You guys all stay safe and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace, fellas. You can't stop me no matter who you are. <laughs> Stage Even if I must sacrifice my life.